All right. Our first bit of news is out of England. A student who said Muslims should be wiped off the face of the earth is facing jail. Lewis Duxbury, a 22-year-old student, posted a video on Facebook saying that Muslims should be wiped off the face of the earth. When one of his classmates discovered this video, they reported it to uh, the university um, and to the police. Um, and he was brought up on charges of hate speech. So why this is big news right now is one him saying that even though he said that he meant terrorists um he said muslims uh, and this is not the first time that he's made uh comments like this before back in 2015 he also made comments um that were derogatory towards muslims as a whole but now the reason why this is so big is he's actually facing jail time for the video that he uploaded wait so how's where is this is the uk right Yes, this is out of England. So this hap he uploaded the video a while ago, but the reason why this is getting attention now is because now the sentencing just came through, right? That's correct. But this this would never happen in the United States, right? Like this would be a free never. this would be a free speech issue. What are you guys thoughts about this? Is this so first of all, our position I mean, people that follow us know that we are one hundred percent anti Islam. But this kind of uh, this is is any kind of speech that is is against Muslim as a whole, like generalizing all Muslims. We're against that, right? In fact, one main reason why we're against Islam is because what it does to Muslims. Like Muslims are the main victim of Islam. Shopam, you have background noise, so meet your microphone when we are when you're not speaking. Um, so we like what did he exactly say? Like without like. Can you say what he said in the video without us getting demonetized? No, probably not. Like, or, or... No, I can't. <laughs> um, but he did go on a 17-minute rant. Right. Okay, and there's a lot of nuance to what he said there, and I get that. But when he straight up said that Muslims should be wiped off the face of the earth, um, that was that was the point of no return. I mean, he didn't say terrorists. He said that's what he meant mm -hmm. um, due to the other aspects of what he said in the video. 17-minute rant, you know. Um, but this is what he said. And in my opinion, to face jail time over, you know, being a bigoted jerk, I, I don't think that no. that's appropriate. Uh, obviously, I think that he should not be jailed for this. I think what he said was stupid. I don't agree with what he said. Yeah. Um, but to be punished like that. So so here's okay. So I think we all uh, the three of us, I think, agree that what he said was dumb and bigoted. Uh, what he uh, and but he should not receive jail time for it. And it's actually scary to me that UK, one of the two main countries that is responsible for enlightenment values, and the main enlightenment value being freedom of expression, is now uh, leading as one of the countries in Europe to uh, fight against freedom of expression, which is very scary. Um, people in the United States should be very, very, very grateful about for their constitution. Um, again, just because we don't think this guy should have gone to jail, that doesn't mean we agree or in, uh, or support what he has to say we're very much against it but we don't think the right way to fight against it is to limit their per uh, that person's free uh, freedom of expression uh do you guys agree with all of that because now i have a question after that yep should probably <clears throat> agree yep yeah okay so my question is that do you think in the uk he, he if he just changed his st statement um, in, in just a little bit the what he said if he said Islam should be wiped off face of the earth. I would have completely endorsed that message. I would be like, yes, Islam should. You, when you say Muslims should be wiped off the face of earth, I was like, holy, no, my, like that is that is kind of insane. That is scary. That is bigoted. Um, even if you come out and say like, oh, I meant some, I meant just a terrorist. Uh, well, you should have said that. Um, but, but do you think he would have? Um, so I, I would agree with what he's saying if he said Islam should be wiped out of planet Earth. I actually have said that. <laughs> I've been quoted of saying that. But do you think you would face jail time in the UK if he said Islam instead of Muslims? Um, I think that, yes, the, because they still consider that Islamophobia. Um, and by definition, that is Islamophobia, even though I think the word is completely ridiculous. Um, and, and as you've been saying, and... Uh, Ali Rizvi and many other people, it's it's anti-Muslim bigotry. 
uh, that people are really fighting. Islamophobia includes Islam, criticism of Islam, uh, and that actually takes away from what Muslims face when it comes to bigotry. Uh, so I think that Islamophobia is ridiculous, but um, because it's Islamophobic and that is considered hate speech, I think that he might actually still be facing jail time for saying something like that. Uh, and I think that that wasn't his intention at all um, in this video. He definitely was talking about people, and he made that clear in his defense of saying, hey, 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 I didn't mean all, all Muslims. I meant just the terrorists. Mm -hmm. So to me, this wasn't about their ideology. To me, this is still about people. Um, yeah. I mean, to, to be fair, we are pretty consistent about our... Uh, defense of freedom of expression like for example we would defend uh, Muslims uh, freedom of expression in the UK if they say like hey you know what I think ex-Muslims or atheists should be killed right like the three of us here right if they think like we should be killed if they just think that if they just if that's just their view we don't think they should go to jail either um, right. even if they want us dead and they say that they want us dead because they're not committing violence themselves that's just their opinion I mean that's a very uh, crappy opinion <laughs> right but again you have to be allow people to say what they believe um, I honestly don't think in the UK if you could act if he had a I don't think you I think UK has gone very far um, you know too far but I not yet far enough for them to to jail him if he had said Islam. I I don't think they would have jailed him if he had said Islam. I think his lawyer would, or would have been able to make the case that this guy was just making a statement about an ideology. Even though the politicians may say like, oh, Islamophobia, Islamophobia. I don't think he would have gone to jail for if he, if he said Islam instead of Muslims. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me let us know if you think I'm wrong. Um, Lily is saying, damn. I mean, I think the concept of the religion should be wiped off um, and forgotten, but not the people who believe in it. Exactly, Lily. The second top comment is from Holly. Uh, he or she is saying, Thank Yahweh, we have the first amendment in the US. I may not like what you say, but you damn sure have a right to say it without going to jail. Good, yeah, perfect co comment. The third top comment is actually very interesting. Adriano is saying, I suggest the judges to take care of the imams. Uh, who say the same but refer to us um, yeah I mean that's very that's a huge double standard in the UK like how many Muslim preachers have gone to jail in the UK for saying that openly saying in their mosques that they think you know something ha should happen to I, I'm not gonna say it because YouTube is dumb and they're gonna think we're saying it but the things that have to happen to the Jews or to the ex-Muslims like myself, like they get, there's a huge double standard. Like if they were being arrested just for saying these opinions, the reaction from the Muslim community would have been like huge. And I think the police and the government there would be would have been like is terrified about the backlash of, of something like that. That's why they wouldn't do anything like that. So I think there's like right now in the UK, there's like two sets of laws. For different groups of people and not only not based on this not only we don't have i mean we do have anti-muslim bigotry in the uk but most what we do have more than anti-muslim bigotry in the uk is muslim privilege right we have muslim privilege you have two sets of standards applying to people and non-muslims are getting a harsher treatment than muslims based on their views the things that muslims get to say is and non-muslims don't get to say in the uk so we have anti-muslim bigotry but we more than that we have muslim privilege in the uk what do you guys do you guys agree with that yeah yeah I don't atheists are under attack in many places if they were christians their voices would be heard if they were jews their voices would be heard if they were muslims their voices would be heard but they are atheists and not many seem to be listening Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. 
With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.